Welcome. This is Finance Cottage presentation on balance of payment. In this video, we shall discuss fundamentals of balance of payment accounting, accounts of balance of payment, interaction of balance of payment with macroeconomic variables, trade balances and exchange rates. So, let's discuss balance of payment. Balance of payment is a measure of all international economic transactions between residents of a country and foreign residents. It is based on double entry bookkeeping convention which means for every debit there is a credit. It means that every entry, every transaction is recorded twice, once as a debit and once as a credit. Balance of payment is the statement of inflow and outflow of funds for a given period of time. Every inflow is reported with a positive sign and is listed as credit. And every outflow is reported with a negative sign and is reported as debit. For example, if, comp if, if a country exports goods and services, it will result in inflow of funds. Therefore, exports would be recorded with a positive sign and would be listed as credit. However, if company imports goods and services, this will result in outflow of funds. Therefore, outflows or imports would be recorded with a negative sign and would be reported as debit. Now, because balance of payment is based on double entry bookkeeping convention, that is why balance of payment must balance. So we cannot say that the balance of payment is in disequilibrium because balance of payment is always in equilibrium. Some people may get a wrong impression that balance of payment is a balance sheet of a country. It's not a balance sheet of a country but it's a statement of cash flow or statement of funds flow of a country for a given period of time. There are two types of business transaction dominated in balance of payment. First one is related with the exchange of real assets which we can touch which are tangible and secondly exchange of financial assets which are monetary claims like securities and bonds etc. Now if the balance of payment is always balanced, so what do we mean by surplus or deficit of balance of payment? Please keep in mind whenever we say surplus or deficit of balance of payment we actually mean surplus or deficit of current account of balance of payment. Balance of payment has three accounts current three major accounts current account capital account and official reserves account and the total of all these three accounts should be equal to zero so balance of payment is always the is always balanced but individual accounts may have a surplus or deficit so current account may have a surplus or deficit likewise capital account and official reserves but as a whole balance of payment is always balanced and when we talk about surplus or deficit of balance of payment we actually talk about surplus or deficit of current account of balance of payment three accounts one is current account capital and financial account second account and the third one is official reserves account and there is another fourth account which is known as net errors and omission account this account actually uh, preserves the balance of balance of payment for example, if there is any discrepancy or disequilibrium due to any error in recording or omission, then this value which is creating di creating disequilibrium in balance of payment would be recorded in net errors and omission so that the balance of payment would remain in balance. So this is the fourth account which includes errors and omissions. Current account includes four major types of transaction four major transactions are recorded in current account first one is import and exports of goods which is also known as balance of trade so balance of trade is one of the uh, of, uh, of of the transactions of the balance of payment so first one is balance of trade which is exports and imports of goods second is import and exports of services third one is the factor income the income from the source of profits or dividends or interest are recorded in this third head. If you have an investment outside the country and you are receiving any profit or a dividend or any interest on, on your money from outside your country, in that case this income would be recorded in this fourth head which is known as factor income. Fourth one, uh, sorry, third head. 
fourth one is the current transfer which includes gifts and money sent by uh, the residents of a country working outside the country and other grants etc are recorded in current transfers so the 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 current account is dominated by the first component which is known as balance of trade so the the major part or the major portion uh, which contributes in the surplus or deficit of current account is the balance of trade so if the balance of trade has a deficit uh, you you will often find current account in deficit so balance of trade is the major part or major contributing factor of current account second account is the capital and financial account capital and financial account has three major types of transactions first one is foreign direct investment in which investor exerts some explicit degree of control over assets for example if you buy shares or you make an investment outside your country which gives you ownership rights of that um, entity in that case this would be known as direct investment but if you are making an investment and it does not involve transfer of ownership in that case that investment would be portfolio investment and the third one is other investment it consists of various short various short term and long term trade credits cross border loans currency deposits bank deposits and other account receivables and accounts payables related to cross border trades so these three transactions are included in capital and financial account third account is the official reserve account under this account foreign asset transactions of a country and foreign central banks are recorded it normally includes changes in uh, the official reserves of a country which uh, are normally maintained in the form of gold or government fo uh, holding foreign securities uh, sorry foreign exchanges special drawing rights of imf and other reserve position of imf so if there is any change in these reserve value for example if, if if a country is operating in fixed exchange regime it it needs to defend its fixed exchange rate in that case country can use the central bank can use these reserves to maintain its its uh, uh, fixed exchange rate so if there is any change due to this strategy then this would be recorded in official reserve account the fourth account is the net error and omission account <coughs> and the net errors and omission account ensures that balance of payment actually balances so this is um, and th these are four accounts three are major accounts and fourth one is just to maintain the balance of balance of payment let's take a look at a general structure of balance of payment account here is the summary of previous discussion first account is the current account it includes number one balance of trade which is import and exports of goods second one is import and exports of services third one is the factor income pdi means profit dividend and interest income are recorded in this third head and the fourth one is the net transfers which includes um, remittances sent by um, sent back to home countries and gifts and grants and pension etc second account is capital and financial account it includes three major transactions foreign direct investment net portfolio investment foreign direct net foreign direct investment is the investment which gives you the ownership rights and if it does not give you the ownership right you are just making an investment you are buying shares of a company and in that case this would be a portfolio investment other financial investments include trade credits and accounts payable and accounts receivable etc and the the third account is reserves and related items this includes changes in official reserve balances of uh, um, of of the country and this last one is the net error and omission it includes missing data or any illegal transfers which do not come in the knowledge of uh, of the authorities finally let's take a look that what do we mean by surplus this is another definition of surplus and this says that a surplus in balance of payment implies that demand of country's currency exceeded the supply and if you analyze when the demand of currency will exceed its its, its supply normally when the 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 company is exporting more than what it is importing so in that case the country's currency demand would increase because the the uh, the buyers in the foreign countries would have to pay 
uh, in 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 the country in the local currency of the country the product of which they are buying so if you are exporting more it means that you are increasing the demand of your currency so in that case if country is operating in um, a floating exchange regime in that case government should allow the currency to currency value to increase in value or if the country is operating in fixed exchange rate regime in that case uh, the government should intervene and accumulate additional foreign currency reserves in the official reserves account.